So every year there is a decision process to decide what strains of uh, influenza viruses go into the vaccine. Uh, th for the Northern Hemisphere, this takes place in um, January, February timeframe. Uh, every year there is uh, an H1N1 strain, an H3N2 strain, and those are both influenza A viruses. And then, depending on whether the virus, the vaccine, sorry, whether the vaccine covers four strains or three strains, if it's three strains, there is one influenza B virus that's used, or in the case of a, a four strain vaccine, two different strains of B. So that's a decision that's made every year. There's actually a, a decision um, in a few weeks that will be made for the Southern Hemisphere for their winter season, which is our next summer. So every year there's this process of updating the, um, the influenza vaccine to be uh, the vaccines that are projected to be most likely to be circulating that coming year. So, um, I don't think there's anything especially unique. I think the one thing that's, that's a little bit um, different is that some of the vaccines contain three strains and some contain four strains. And if you get the four strain vaccine, you're being covered for, four, for two B viruses, the three strain only one B virus.